Chris, uh, let's talk about at Quest uh, the priorities that you're seeing over the next uh, year or so. Uh, give us the top two. You know, what's the demand signal? What, what what are you focusing on these days? I'll tell you one thing I'm doing. I'm going back to Dev and telling him, you got to find cooler code names, okay? I mean, Kobayashi yeah, Maru. I'm like, <laughs> Anyway. I applaud the Air Force for allowing him <laughs> to use those code names. Hey, well, you know what? That's I think one of the luxuries when you're called Guardians and you literally control satellites with lasers. I think you can use whatever name you want. Sure. Um, I think the important thing we lose track of sometimes is that as we look to the future, and Wanda says something um, that we kind of glossed over, and as AI and ML, artificial intelligence, machine learning, or what I was taught, algorithmic intelligence, because we still are not really at artificial intelligence, quite frankly. But a lot of what we do in that space is highly dependent on the quality of data we put into that information pipeline. Um, and I remember watching a, a movie once and someone said, they're about to do something very um, significant. They said, confidence is high. To get to a high level of confidence around the result set that comes out of what I call the black box of machine learning is that you have to be really confident that the data that went in was exactly what you expected it to be. Um, and I think that's a discussion that's going on across the entire landscape of, of machine learning and artificial intelligence. That is, what is the quality of data? What data sets are we talking about? How did we vet that data, for instance? How did we identify that data? Um, so one of the things we're looking at over the next one to two years is, and we've made significant investments in acquisitions to understand exactly one, how do we now tag and identify all the metadata, for instance, and all the data, the data that supports um, that metadata within an organization. Um, simple activities like identifying, well, where's the PII data, for instance, across the environments? We all know about the losses we've had um, at certain agencies where we've lost control of very important data sets, for instance, around you know, you know, security credentials and things like that. So now how do you now identify where all the data is in an organization, catalog it, so if you are attacked, you know exactly what your losses are. Um, I think when we're attacked sometimes, <clears throat> it's easy to quantify things in economic terms, but in the softer world, for instance, well, if you lost all my PI data, what is the risk to me as a citizen? What is the risk to an agency, for instance? Um, so understanding where all that data is, being able to tag it, catalog it, for instance, and when he hands it off to a special ops program that's doing DevSecOps, for instance, they understand exactly where that data is coming from, what security needs to be attached to that particular data set, for instance, and if that system is attacked, whether it's the application or the underlying databases, for instance, we understand exactly what the losses are and we can mitigate those losses because we've identified that information. So that's just a piece of what we're looking at, aside from the other things in cyber, for instance, but we all understand that data is a critical component and we aim to protect that data too as well.